Good morning children. Today we are going to start with exercise 6.1. Here in exercise 6.1 there is question number 1 which is uh, asked that what would be the unique digit of a number after query. So question first is someone is 81. So, how can we assume what would be the unit digit of 81 if it is square? So, instead of squaring the whole number that is 81, 81 into 81, instead of doing that, we will take only one last digit that is here it is given as 1. So, 1 into 1, I had done 1 into 1. You get 1. So the unique digit of 81 is equal to 1. Similarly, second example 272. Here 272. 2 is the last digit number. So I'll take 2 into 2 that is 4. So the squared number that is 272 ka square. So unit digit par hoga aapka. 4. Now we will uh, now solve the rest of the questions on your own in your notebook. If any query is there then you can contact me. Now question number 2. Here it is given. Here you have to find whether the number given number is a perfect square or not. So first one is 1057. Instead of searching whether the given number is a square or not, a trick is there or a rule is there, a law is there. If a number ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9, the ending digit, this digit 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 should be at unit place but here it is 7 therefore we can say that it is not a perfect square so question uh, sum number 2 will solve like that only here the number is 2 3 4 5 3 the ending digit that is at unit place there is 3 but as the rule says there should be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. Then only the given number is a perfect square. But here it is 3. So it is not a perfect square. So solve these two questions in your notebook. And if it is any query then you can contact me. Thank you.